Hey, you guys. Once again, my spoiled husband is getting his way, but that's okay. I will enjoy these myself, too. I am making my gourmet mushrooms, which takes a minimum of eight hours. Yes, you heard that correctly, eight hours. You're, you're not really touching it. Um, it's just slow, low and slow. So in my pot, I have a full bottle of red wine, a burgundy type wine, just a red wine. Um, one and a half teaspoons, of, excuse me, tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Um, then I have a teaspoon of dill seed along, oh, let me move that up, teaspoon of dill seed uh, along with a teaspoon of ground pepper, um, a pound of butter. Uh, I'm going to put in um, two cloves of garlic that um, fully is cutting for me right now. And then I'm going to put in two cups of water and all these mushrooms. Now it calls for four pounds of mushrooms, but that's okay. I mean, I don't have four pounds here. I'll go broke if I go buy four pounds of mushrooms right now. So let me put these in and get started. Okay, we're ready to put in the um, garlic. And that's that was probably three small cloves of garlic. The recipe calls for two, but I had three left in and I said, I oh, will just use those. Now, I also neglected to tell you that um, it also calls for three chicken bouillons and three beef bouillons, along with uh, the, the water, hot water, and that's gonna help, um, that's gonna help the uh, uh, bouillons, you know, come together. And I've got this on, you know, about medium, a little less than medium heat. And go ahead and put the mushrooms in, babe. And um, I'm going to let this come to a, a slow boil. And then I'm going to reduce it to a simmer and cook it about five, six hours with the pot covered. And as you know, these mushrooms are going to um, shrink down. But they're going to stay whole. They're going to stay firm. And it, it's better than any you can get at a steakhouse, quite honestly. Okay? All right. All right, we're about three hours in. And as you can see, the mushrooms are turning a beautiful dark shade. The smell is intoxicating. And we have just a little bit longer to go. Okay, you guys, it's been five hours, and now it's time to take the lid off, keeping the temperature just the same, and you can see I've got it, you know, close to, it's on a summer, and I will keep the lid off, and I'm going to cook this uh, without the lid for about another three to five hours. See that? Oh, it has been eight hours. Look at this. Mmm. Yum. Turning it off. We're going to let them cool so we can put them up and we'll have them with our meal tomorrow. Now, if you want to go ahead and serve them now, you could. But, you know, I'm not up to getting at 6 o'clock. I'm not going to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning to, to make mushrooms. So, there we go. Looky there, you all. That's your mushrooms ready to be served up. I'll see if I can get somebody to taste test one for you. Mmm. 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 You did it again. That's some mighty fine eating. You've been waiting on that. Let me see the inside. Show them the inside. Yeah. 
You've been waiting on those for how long? A year. I make them about once a year, y'all. That's true. Mm -hmm. He's well, in. That's going to be good with that prime rib tomorrow. He's in heaven. Mm -hmm. I was sitting here talking to my friend while we ate our dinner, and I looked up into the kitchen. This is what I saw. Somebody who said they were full and couldn't eat another bite. Mm -hmm. But they're going to make sure that they get their fill of mushrooms. They're real good for you. See there? They're real good for you. Christmas 2021. Finally got my mushrooms for this year which is only going to be one time this year. And they're so good. Mm. Remember, two bites. Merry Christmas.